Hello, Mark Fulcher, 297 Harrison Street, here in Lapeer. Um, as a medical massage therapist, I've been seeing several people coming in with unexplainable pains that doctors cannot find in MRIs, CAT scans. Any test they do, they're on unexplainable medical conditions. Um, I actually started talking with some of the, one of the parents for two children with the same episodes of low back pain so much so they're unable to go to school. So with that being said, I asked them and mentioned to them about EMS, electromagnetic frequency. I said, just for grins and giggles, get them out of the house for a while. Move their beds. Let's see if we, the symptoms change. They did. All because of this new meter that's been put in. So that tells me something's going on here in a big way. Our body resonates at roughly 80 hertz. These things that are going in, I'm not sure I haven't measured it yet, but I cannot wait to get my hands and measure it because this is a pulsation. It's like having a cell phone on your head 24-7, pulsating. The, the company says it pulsates every few seconds. Or I'm sorry, every, what, eight times a day? Is that what they said, Julie? Anyway, eight times a day. From all the research I've read on this, it's thousands of times a day. Now, imagine your brain being shocked by a radio frequency that has the power to microwave and melt chocolate or whatever. It's a microwave. This is what this thing is on the side of our house, microwaving our kids, our families, the people we love, our future, our kids. Because most of these meters are right outside of the bedrooms. Where are they? Right about head level. Not only that, that pulsation within that meter is traveling through the lines, through our, through our homes, where our nightstands. Where's the outlet for the nightstands? Right behind where your head is. Now I have measured this just from the electricity, with it, we just with the analog meter on there. So this amplifies things for us as human beings and messes with us on huge levels. These guys right here, huge levels, radiation coming off these things. I mean, I've done a lot of research and a lot of study on this and it all dates back to dancing cows, Wisconsin. Because the great big power lines that are up there, they're grounded into the ground, the cows are constantly moving. Why aren't they producing milk? Why aren't they producing meat? Why are they deteriorating? The science has already been done. DTE knows this stuff, I believe. What's being done about it? You as our commissioners and the people that are representing us, I plead to you. Think of your children, your parents, if they're still alive. If they're not. God rest their souls. I plead you. Think about that. Thank you.